A comeback can be defined as an artist's return to glory after a long hiatus, after personal issues, or after releasing a string of albums that flopped. In this video, we look at eight of the biggest comebacks in pop music. Ariana Grande In the wake of personal tragedy and professional challenges, Ariana emerged stronger than ever. With her transcendent anthem, No Tears Left to Cry, she had endured immense personal hardships, including the devastating Manchester Arena bombing during her Dangerous Women tour in 2017, which claimed the lives of 22 concert cores. In addition to grappling with the emotional aftermath of the tragedy, she faced intense scrutiny from the media. She retreated from the public eye to sought therapy, cancelling the remainder of her world tour. But later, the studio became a refuge, and as she started to learn how to cope with PTSD, she started to make her comeback. Amidst all that, many wondered how she would navigate her way back into the spotlight and reclaim her status as one of pop music's brightest stars. Enter No Tears Left to Cry. The song not only signaled her comeback to music, but also marked a bold departure from her previous sound. The song served as a powerful anthem for resilience and hope in the face of adversity. It marked a pivotal moment in her career, serving as her triumphant return to the music scene. It is also considered as one of Ariana's best ever songs. Miley Cyrus Miley was primarily known for her wholesome and team-friendly image, cultivated through her role as Hannah Montana. However, she matured and wanted to break free from the constraints of her Disney persona and explore a new sound. The evolution began with her 2010 album Can Be Tamed, which hinted at her desire to share her innocent image and embrace a more mature identity. However, the album didn't do that great, and it was with bangers that Miley fully embraced her newfound freedom. Released in 2013, it sent shockwaves through the music industry, with its eclectic blend of pop, hip-hop, and electronic influences. The album's lead single, We Can't Stop, served as her defiant declaration of independence. However, it was the album's second single, Raking Ball, that cemented her status as a bona fide pop icon. The emotional power ballad showcased her raw vulnerability and earned universal acclaim, hitting number one in multiple countries. The accompanying music video featuring Miley swinging on a wrecking ball naked broke records and became an instant cultural phenomenon. The album debuted on number one on the Billboard 200, with first week sales of 270,000 copies, which made it her best-selling album at the time. While she faced backlash for her provocative image and controversial antics, she has continued to evolve as an artist. Kylie Minogue Kylie Minogue is a true legend, as she released her first album way back in 1988. Her debut was very successful, being certified four times platinum in Australia. By the end of the millennium, her popularity was at an all-time low, declining with every release. But in 2000, the Australian pop sensation defied the odds and redefined her career trajectory with the release of her seventh studio album, Light Years. Following a period of relative low in the late 1990s, she emerged from the shadows with a triumphant return to the music scene. It was a bold departure from her previous sound, embracing a more upbeat and disco-influenced sound that captured the essence of early 2000s dance pop. Spinning Around was the lead single from the album. The song peaked at number one in both Australia and the UK, and has been certified quadruple platinum in Australia. It not only revitalized her career, but also cemented her status as a pop icon for generations to come. Taylor Swift Taylor had experienced a series of highly publicized controversies and setbacks. After the release of her most successful album, 1989, she had been infused with fellow artists, and the media attention on her was negative. Her American sweetheart image was being tarnished after she got into a feud with Kanye West and his then-wife Kim Kardashian over his song, Famous. After Kim leaked a phone call between Taylor and Kanye. After that, Taylor became a victim of the hashtag is it over party. And she was going through it on social media. With people using the snake emoji to describe her. After that, she retreated from the public eye. Prompting speculation about her future in the music industry. In 2017, Taylor made an electrifying return to the music scene. 
with her single Look What You Made Me Do, making it one of the most memorable comebacks in pop history. The song was released with a music video that references the multiple controversies. Taylor reclaimed her narrative with the defiant anthem that not only addressed her haters, but also showcased her evolution as an artist. After that, she continued to dominate the charts with the release of her album Reputation. The album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, selling 1.2 million album equivalent units in its first week. She then embarked on a record-breaking world tour. Nelly Furtado Nelly Furtado came in the game with her very successful album Won't Nelly in 2000. It was led by the hit single I'm Like a Bird and was certified two times platinum by the RIAA. After a brief hiatus, many had speculated about the trajectory of her career. She followed it up with her second studio album Folklore. It was a dip in her career as it debuted on number 38 on the Billboard 200, selling just 68,000 copies in its first week. It only spent 11 weeks on the chart and fell off. However, her next album, Loose, not only marked her return, but also catapulted her into new heights, solidifying her status as one of the most versatile and innovative artists of her generation. Released in 2006, it represented a bold departure from her previous sound, incorporating elements of hip-hop, R&B, and dance pop into her music. The album single Promiscuous, featuring Timbaland, immediately caught the attention of audiences worldwide with its infectious beat and provocative lyrics. It became an instant sensation, topping charts around the globe and earning her her first number one on the Billboard Hot 100. She followed that up with another number one, Say It Right. The album also topped the Billboard 200 and has now been certified three times platinum by the RIAA. Michael Jackson Next is a comeback that never happened. In the realm of pop music, few artists command the same level of respect as the king of pop himself, Michael Jackson. Throughout his illustrious career, he captivated audiences with his unparalleled talent and timeless music. By the end of the 2000s though, his popularity was at an all-time low. Following a period of seclusion and personal struggles, he announced plans for a comeback concert series titled This Is It. Their residency was planned to take place at London's O2 Arena. It was intended to be Michael's triumphant return to the stage after years of hiatus, with promises of electrifying performances, This Is It was poised to become the comeback of the century. But after a few months, tragedy struck on June 25, 2009, when Michael Jackson tragically passed away at the age of 50. The news sent shockwaves throughout the world and left fans mourning the loss of a true music icon. Despite Michael's untimely death, the legacy of This Is It endured as plans were set in motion for the release of a documentary film chronicling the preparation for the concert series. The film served as a tribute to his legacy. The movie became an instant commercial success, grossing over $260 million worldwide. Eminem In the realm of hip-hop, few artists have faced as many personal and professional challenges as Marshall Mathers. Despite experiencing unparalleled success with his early albums, he encountered a series of setbacks, including struggles with addiction, legal issues, and a decline in critical acclaim. However, in 2010, Eminem staged a comeback with the release of his seventh studio album, Recovery, regaining his status as one of rap's greatest icons. With the album, he confronted his demons head on and showcased his growth as an artist and as a man. The album's lead single, Not Afraid, served as a powerful anthem of resilience and determination. The next singles, including Love the Way You Lie and No Love, further solidified his comeback. It earned Eminem his seventh consecutive number one album on the Billboard 200 Albums chart, selling 741,000 copies just in his first week. The album has now been certified eight times platinum by the RIAA. Beyonce Beyonce had been relatively quiet in the music scene after the release of her 2011 album 4. After the album didn't get the commercial success she expected, she focused on her personal life and family. She had a period of relative silence following the birth of her daughter Blue Ivy in 2012. However, in a move that shocked fans worldwide, Beyonce dropped her self-titled album without any prior promotion and announcement in December of 2013. It was accompanied by a series of visually stunning music videos for each track. The album, which explored themes of love, femininity, and empowerment, served as a testament to Beyonce's artistic vision and commitment 
to pushing boundaries in her craft. It immediately took the world by storm, dominating headlines and social media feeds. The album's lead single, Drunken Love, featuring Jay-Z, became an instant hit, earning Beyonce critical acclaim and commercial success. The album sold 617,000 copies in its first week and has now been certified five times platinum by the RIAA. It not only revitalized Beyonce's career, but also revolutionized the way artists release music. Which comeback did I not mention? Tell me in the comments below.